Hi everyone, my name is Janice and welcome to my Allbirds shoe review. Why am I doing this? One, because I love the Allbirds shoe brand, especially because I don't have to wear socks. And two, I have the unfortunate problem of purchasing shoes online. So hopefully this video will help you decide if you are looking to purchase a pair yourself. Now a little bit about Allbirds. It started in 2015 in San Francisco. You can buy their shoes in some of their brick and mortar stores, or you can purchase them online. They have a really simple return and exchange policy, so not to worry about that. Now, they have so many different styles and colors. Um, they mainly come in two materials, wool as well as tree eucalyptus. Now, one word of advice right now, if you're looking at a pair online whose color is a limited edition, I suggest you jump on those because they do not last very long. Now, as I mentioned, there's so many different styles and shades, but I'll go over the three that I do have. Now, before I get started, I'm going to oddly show you my feet. Now, we're all very different, but just in case you have similar feet to mine, hopefully that will help you with making a better decision. All right. So these are my feet. I'm normally a 6.5 to 7 shoe size. I would say I have pretty narrow, if not average, width feet. This is my profile. So I actually have a little bit of an arch here naturally. So I'm okay with shoes that have a flat bottom or have supports. Either are fine. So oddly enough, my left foot is a little bit longer than my right. And that's nature for you. So sometimes I have issues with shoes that are not as flexible. But in terms of general shoes, they're not too bad at all. So those here just with a foot fetish, please just don't stay on this clip too long. Thanks. So these are my three pairs of Allbird shoes. Starting from the left, I have my 2017 Wool Runners. In the middle, my 2018 Tree Loungers. And finally, my latest edition, my 2019 Tree High Tops. Now, before I get into the shoes themselves, I want to show you their insole. So I purchased this for my husband. He loves his Allbirds wool runners. He's been wearing them almost every day for the past two to three years. But I recently bought him a pair of completely waterproof shoes. And he didn't quite like their insole, so he asked me to purchase him one from Allbirds. Now, as you can tell, there's wool on top. And there's quite some depth here. And I'm pressing quite firmly so they have some give. And he claims that these are his most comfortable pair of shoes. And this insole should be found in pretty much all of the different Albert shoes as well. So let's start with the wool runners. I purchased these in store in San Francisco. And off the bat, I wore them for maybe two to three miles without socks. So these are in a size seven. They only do whole sizes here. And because I wore them for such a long time <laughs> without socks in the very beginning, if you can tell, I made a little bit of an indent on my big toe on my left shoe. But you can't really tell because of the color and because they're so comfortable, I don't really care. So I wouldn't say you should go out athletic running in these shoes, but besides that, they're pretty much game for everything else. Now, as you can tell, I don't really like to tie my shoelaces. I just kind of slip in and out of my shoes. So another pair I wanted to try were the loungers. So these are the tree material or eucalyptus material. And I wanted to try it just to check out what's the difference. They're not as soft, but they're still comfortable. And I bought these online. So I actually went through a couple of iterations and mm. sizes. So unlike the runners, mm. These are a size six. And I'll show you here. The reason why I did that instead of a size seven is the edge runs right below your ankle. And for some reason, for a size seven, one, my foot kept slipping out. And two, the top kept abrading my ankle. So that wasn't very comfortable at all. So I decided to stick with a size six. Now these are still flexible, but because of the size six nature, they are a little bit tight on my toes here as you can tell a little bit constrained and with this light color they do get quite dirty at the tips but i'm under the notion that if you purchase a pair of shoes you should definitely wear them and if you like to machine wash 
machine washer shoes, these can do that for you as well. All right, so last but not least, I have here the tree high tops. Now off the bat, personally, my main grievance is how much I have to bend in order to get my feet situated in here and to tie up the shoelaces. You can't quite slip them on and off. Uh, and the shoelaces do get quite dirty for me since I leave them on my garage floor. But if you have a shoe rack or you have a chair to kind of do this, that shouldn't be a problem. But I did purchase these because one, I wanted a different style. Two, I like the color as well. Makes it look a look a little bit hip, which I'm not hip, but you fake it till you make it. So these are the front and I bought these in a size seven, same thing, whole sizes here. What I do like about these, let's scoot this here, is that you can't really see the toe hump. So I really enjoy that actually from the back. And there actually wasn't too much of a breaking in period when it comes to my soles in these shoes. The only thing was because they're high tops here, I had to get used to the edge of braiding my ankle or upper ankle here and it actually developed a callus for me. So personally, I think that was something I'm just not completely familiar with, but I've gotten used to it since. But if you are, I think they're definitely a cool addition to have as well. All right, so to wrap it up, if you are at all curious about Allbirds, I say definitely give them a try. But please keep in mind that these are more everyday shoes versus running or athletic shoes. However, they are a sigh of relief from other shoe brands out there. Now, if you are purchasing online, I highly suggest it, if you can float it, to purchase two pairs of different sizes. Now, there's nothing worse than the disappointment that comes from the anticipation of a new pair of shoes to only realize that they're the wrong size or you need to wait for a new size to arrive. Now, that's all from me. Please let me know what you think about your Allbirds, if you have any feedback for this video or have any questions, and I'll be happy to provide an honest answer. Just drop me a line below. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon again. Bye.